Iowa's presidential electors are getting ready for when they formally elect the president of the United States, all while President Trump claims voter fraud. Attorney General William Barr said the opposite. Barr says the Justice Department has uncovered no evidence of widespread voter fraud that would tip the results of the presidential election. Meanwhile, Trump's allies are trying to convince Republican electors they should refuse to validate their state's votes. But that's not a concern here in our state. So let's break down how the elector process works in Iowa. Iowa's electors are chosen at district and state conventions. Each party does this, but only electors from the party that won the state take part in the electoral college. The people who get to be electors are generally chosen because they've been party activists. Sometimes it's seen as sort of a reward for uh, decades of service. So especially in a state that went, uh, that went for Donald Trump across the board like we did, you're unlikely to see in states like that anybody who's not going, who's, who's not intending to vote the way the state did. And in Iowa, our electors have to cast their ballot for whichever candidate received the most votes in Iowa. That's the law. If that doesn't happen and the elector votes against their pledge, their vote is canceled and replaced by an alternate elector. That continues until an elector votes as required. Iowa's second congressional district elector isn't worried about that happening here. He says it's pretty straightforward. It's um, an important step. You know, everybody talks about the electoral college and has opinions on it one way or the other. And this is the Electoral College, so it's going to be kind of um, interesting to see it, see how the process works. An important step often shrouded in mystery. Chung explains it's anything but. And we'll sit down in the presence of the Secretary of State, at least maybe the governor, and they'll be passed a number of ballots and they'll have to record their vote. Actually, I found out on multiple ballots and they will sign those in the presence of our state officials. And, and that's that, no smoky rooms. Niermeyer views his role as someone just casting a vote, something that's predetermined. It's contrary to how many others view the role of the elector. I'm just a farm kid, just go, gonna go to the big city and cast my vote for the president. So kind of, it's kind of exciting in that regard. And it makes sense. Iowans have voted and made their voices heard. The state code is written so that our electors simply fulfill the wishes of Iowans. Ronald Forsell, Iowa's third district elector, doesn't see faithless electors, as they're called, being a problem in any state. And so I don't know that um, anybody is going to sign up and uh, win an election if that's how other states select their electors. Um, only to, to vote sort of against what the people in their state voted for. So I don't, I don't think that's going to be a big issue this year. The six men, part of history. It's a, it's a great process to go through, and I'm excited to cast my vote and, um, you know, pretty honored that I was elected.